Hello, my name is Satnam and I'm sharing here my presentation on threat hunting, which I presented at Splunk.conf uh, 2017. So let's talk about threat hunting. So threat hunting is uh, not a new term. It has been known in the industry. Typically a threat hunting starts with alert triage uh, using threat intelligence and other data sources uh, like IDS, IPS logs, firewall logs, uh, Windows authentication logs, endpoint, uh, endpoint logs, um, or it could be bro logs as well. Uh, and the way it starts is uh, threat analyst uh, is starts with an hypothesis. See, for an example, you want to find uh, suspicious processes in Windows operating system. So in that case, you will start with Windows endpoint logs and Windows process logs and then use a outlier detection method to find uh, the suspicious or the outlier uh, processes. So most of the threat hunting boils down to anomaly detection or the outlier detection problem. And we can use data science to automate that. Uh, so all the methods such as uh, one class SVM or uh, even, even using like, uh, you know, if we have labels available, in that case, we could use deep learning neural networks as well, or we could use uh, clustering approach as well. So various uh, data science algorithms could be used, uh, but most of the data science algorithms are only able to generate anomalies, and you, you still need threat analysts to validate them. So the problem with this approach is uh, it is not really reducing the workload of analyst. And uh, as we all know that only a very few percentage of alerts getting investigated every day. So what we need is more of a systematic approach uh, for threat hunting, uh, which can be automated and it can take load of the analyst uh, shoulders. So uh, this is as per the SANS Institute report. Uh, nearly 45% of the organizations uh, hunt on ad hoc basis and we need to have more systematic approach. So deceptive security, which is more of an active approach for threat hunting, this really provides a way to automate uh, the hunting. So deceptive security is, uh, is a new form of honey pots, honey files, and all honey star dot star. Uh, it is actually providing a platform where we can deceive the attackers using multiple type of deception elements, such as decoys, breadcrumbs, lures, and baits. Uh, decoys are uh, something like fake network hosts, network services, and even the entire network altogether. So, so we can have all these deceptions could be also at various types as well, uh, low, medium, high, and so on. So nice thing about the deception approach is if there is any activity or there is any, uh, any uh, on toward activity or towards a deception element, then it it gives a valid presence of a threat. Uh, and the reason for that is, you know, all these deceptive elements are bound to be, you know, zero percent false alarms and hundred percent true detection. And I'm, you know, provided that all the whitelisting has been done. So what we could do is that we could deploy deceptions on and around the host uh, with uh, the notable events. So the way it starts is uh, we could 
take the Splunk ES notables or you know it could be any other dashboard which uh, threat analyst has made uh, the idea is that we already have uh, the existing set of notables and we are using uh, the combination of data science and deceptive security to reduce uh, the workload from the threat hunters so uh, the first thing what we do is we take the notable events from Splunk ES or equivalent dashboard and we rank them so ranking of these hosts and the notable events are done based on multiple criteria. it could be based on the type of notables or the type of uh, host the criticality of host or uh, the number of notables that that the time as well uh, we could bring some more context uh, knowledge around the host and the event for the ranking and then we do a triage with the deception uh, elements so here is a entire threat hunting process we start with the uh, notables these notables again could be from Splunk ES or it could be from uh, other SIM or equivalent uh, security dashboard which uh, analyst has made it and then we use uh, data science and the data science engine here we are calling it as threat hunting intelligence engine and this engine actually ranks the hosts and the notables uh, as I described earlier uh, using frequency and the criticality and uh, uh, other contextual knowledge uh, around the host and about the notable and so on and another thing which it does it, it figures out that what type of deception and how many type of deceptions and where they should be deployed and all that deception strategy is executed using this uh, data science engine and then uh, that recommendation and the strategy is being given to the deception platform in this case uh, a Calvio deception platform uh, deploys the deceptions and then if there is any activity around those hosts or around those uh, decoys and uh, those breadcrumbs then we get an alert we use that alert or even if there is no alert then we we compute the notable ranking and we give it back uh, that knowledge to the Splunk ES uh, dashboard so let's take an example so it is starts uh, with the ranking of hosts and notables so in this uh, first bar chart what you see is it's a ranking of hosts uh, before deception we have not applied the deception uh, and this is ranking being done uh, based on the number of uh, notables and the criticality of the host and so on and in this case uh, this host has excessive failure logins now what we do is we use uh, data science to also figure out you know which hosts are better candidate for deception uh, to do a triage with a deception security so in, in this particular case uh, this host uh, had a six different IP addresses and uh, the adversary used uh, these six IP addresses and six sources uh, and to do a login attempt to a one particular uh, target and and it got a failed uh, authentication alert six times using six usernames and that happened in a one hour so this seems to be a good candidate uh, if analyst has to do all this investigation it would take an hour or so uh, what we could do is this we could put our breadcrumbs around that host on that host 
and in that VLAN as well. And so if there is a suspicious malware or a human adversary, then we could, we would find the activity in that particular VLAN and on those hosts. So in this particular case, we find that activity and this actually elevates the ranking of that particular host. So now what we gather here is it not only re-ranks the threat, but also we could do an automated uh, response uh, remediation as well. And we could isolate that particular host or that, that user as well. So this is uh, something possible if we deploy the deception in this particular uh, VLAN. So what I have discussed so far is that we can use the combination of data science and the deceptive security for threat hunting. And this really gives an active approach for threat hunting because otherwise, you know, it was more of a reactive approach. So uh, another thing I would like to say is if we had the threats, you know, if sorted out in a more of a as a chart and uh, in terms of their ranking and if we put this automated response towards the tail end, then we could actually reduce the large number of false positives as well. So this combination of deceptive security and data science provides a way to deal with alert deluge and also of false positives and uh, an automated remediation response as well for the threats. Those are on the low radar, uh, lower ranking, and which analyst does not even have a time to investigate. And if there is anything important and anything significant uh, threat, in that case, you know, it will be surfaced by the deception alert. Okay, so this combination of data science and deceptive security gives uh, an active approach. Thanks.